Hi guys, so in this solution video, I have two questions here side by side and even though they are the same type of question, they are both asking you to find different quantities of items. Okay, the one on the left hand side here is asking you to find one of each item, whereas the one on the right hand side is asking you to find 15 of each item. Okay. Now, how we approach these two questions are going to be completely different, alright? So, we're not going to use the bar modeling method this time, alright? Some people are complaining, why don't I show the normal method that student, um, students would use in school, that teachers would teach in school. Now, the bar modeling method is a valid primary school method for mathematics for worded problems for unequal sharing for fractions etc okay uh, they teach it in singapore primary schools okay um but in this video i will do it the regular way okay so usually the unequal sharing general steps would be the first thing is to uh, subtract something all right so you will be subtracting something first. Now let's look at what we have here. We have Martian. She bought two comic books and three masks and paid $140. All right. Then Lisa bought six comic books and five masks, which together cost $300. Now again, I'm going to be using uh, letters okay, to represent these items because I don't want to keep writing comic books over and over, masks over and over, okay? So C for comic books, M for masks, you could use B for books, M for masks, it's up to you, okay? So let's write our number statements, all right? So our number statements for Marsha would be uh, two comic books plus three masks. And why are we adding? Because for two comic books and three masks, they paid a total of $140. All right. Lisa bought six comic books all right, and five masks, which is together cost $300. Now, seeing that we need to subtract first, since that is the first step, we would not want to subtract six comic books from two and five marks from three and 300 from 140 okay so i'm just going to rewrite this statement below this one so two comic books plus three masks is equal to 140 dollars and we're going to subtract all right so we have four comic books plus Five take away three is two masks. All right, and this will be equal to one hundred and sixty dollars. Now the second step is to divide something. Now, if you notice in our bar modeling methods, we still do these steps, right? We subtract the uneven part, we divide to find for each equal portion. Right, and then we add it back to something. Okay, now the bar modeling method is more of a visual representation. Okay, so students who need that extra visual aid, that is the best method for them. All right, so now we need to divide something. What are we going to divide? Now, you need to have a good command of your multiplication tables, and it's not just knowing. 1, 2 is 2, 2, 2 is a 4. No, you need to know your multiplication tables in terms of um, division, okay? And in terms of addition as well, all right? So you need to know how they relate to division and how it relates to addition. Now, looking at these numbers here, now our goal is to find one, okay? One of each item, all right? Now, looking at this, we could see that this 4, 2, and because of this 0, and this 160, we know that this, these numbers are evenly divisible by 2 without leaving a remainder. 
and by doing that we would see that we would get 1m being left here one mask okay now that is what we want to try to find one mask so let's let's divide everything here by 2 so 4 divided by 2 2 divided by 2 and 160 divided by 2 what will this give me now this will give me two comic books plus one mask equal to 100 sorry 160 divided by 2 will give me 80 all right so now i have some form here where i have two comic books and one mask now let's look at what we have we have this one here and this one here now the reason why i don't follow these general steps is because there is no no way here to tell you that because we're going to be looking at this one here and this one here to realize that if I subtract again all right let's bring this let's rewrite this here two comic books plus three masks is equal to 140 all right now if I subtract again it will give me it will remove the comic books from the number statements all right so two comic books minus two comic books will give me no comic books all right three masks minus one mask will give me two masks here all right 140 minus 80 will give me 60 okay now this 60 represents two masks all right so let's find for one mask if two masks cost sixty dollars then one mask would cost sixty divided by two which is thirty dollars all right so one mask here is thirty dollars all right one mask is thirty dollars now we still need to find for one comic book so which number statement here we have one two three number statements which number statement here will help me find for two comic books now any one of them right but then you'd have to multiply okay the number of masks all right the cost of a mask by the number of masks so let's use this one here so I'm going to put this $30 and replace this num this cost of this mask here by 30 so two comic books plus the cost of a mask is equal to $80 all right like in our other videos when we bring this across here it becomes minus 30 all right, we're subtracting 30 on this side to give us 50. Now, two comic books cost $50. All right, one comic book will be what? So, one comic book will be 50 divided by 2 to give me $25. All right, so one comic book costs $25. Now the third part of unequal sharing is to add it back to something else, all right, which is this step here. We took this 30 and we put it back here. We added it to 2C and then we found for the cost for one comic book, all right. Now following general steps by root without using critical thinking is not a good thing, all right. So if you have something say in step one, step two, step three, you still need to use a little bit of critical thinking, all right, to figure out how to how best to manipulate these questions to solve them. And you need to know your multiplication tables pretty well. All right, now that's not the end of the question, right? 
They didn't ask for the cost of one comic book and one mask each. Alright, they asked for the cost of one comic book and one mask. Now, in cases like this, where if you're not sure if you need the total amount, which is the 25 plus 30, I would still advise that you include that step. You would not lose marks for it, okay, but it's safeguarding you from losing out the mark if that is what they ask, okay? So, 25 plus 30, the, co the cost of one comic book and one mask together would cost $55, alright? Now, on this side here, how much will 15 erasers and 15 drawing books cost? They are not asking us to find for one of each item. Alright, they're asking us straight away to find 15 erasers and 15 drawing books. Now, some practice test questions did not cater for students who would want to find for one and then multiply by 15 to find the cost of 15, okay? In cases like that, sometimes when the student goes that way, they end up with um, recurring numbers for their cents. Okay, so sometimes they would get the some amount of dollars and they would have their cents recurring. All right. And then when they try to multiply by 15, for example, they end up with something that they're not sure if they round up or if they leave as is. All right. So in cases where they ask for a certain amount and not for, not for one each, all right, we're going to look to see how we could apply our knowledge of multiplication tables and addition, all right, to figure out this question. Now, we know that 15, okay, is made up of 5 being multiplied by 3. From here, we could see that we have two erasers and three erasers here, and two erasers and three, sorry, three drawing books and two drawing books on this side. We know that five is made up of two plus three. All right, so we could follow these steps and say, all right, let's add these two number statements together, the twos and the threes, and then if we multiply by five, it will give us the cost for 15 erasers and 15 drawing books. So let's write the number statements. Two, I'm going to use E for erasers and D for drawing books, okay? Two erasers plus three drawing books is equal to thirty-one dollars. Three erasers plus two drawing books cost twenty-nine dollars. And we're going to follow this plan here. We're going to add them. Now this is another unequal sharing problem. Okay. Notice we didn't do any subtraction, and we're not going to be doing any division at all. All right. So following. Um, steps blindly without critically thinking it's going to put you in a little bit of trouble depending on the question that you get okay all right so two erasers plus three erasers give us five erasers plus three drawing books plus two drawing books give us five drawing books and let's add the dollars all right here we get 60 all right so now we have five erasers and five drawing books costing sixty dollars now our next so we did this step so our next thing to do is multiply by five sorry multiply by three all right so we get for five okay we get for five and we're going to multiply by this three now okay multiply by three to get 15. So we're going to multiply everything by 3 here. All right. So 5 multiplied by 3 gave us 15 erasers 
plus 5 multiplied by 3 gave us 15 drawing books, uh, which is equal to the cost of $180. Alright, so again we have, so in a few lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines, okay, and a little bit of critical thinking, alright. We figured out the answer to 15 erasers and 15 drawing books. Okay? And they cost $180.